Today I'll be talking about my experience with Roaccutane, but in the clip you'll also see me with an acne spot treatment on my face, which is what I used to help me get through the breakout I was experiencing in between Roaccutane treatments at that time. So today I'm going to be talking about my experience with Roaccutane. Roaccutane with an R, which is what they give you in Europe, at least in um, the Netherlands. I, I think they give Accutane in the US. I'm not sure what is the relation between these two um, treatments and I have no concept or um, knowledge on Accutane, so I'm not going to say anything about that. But on Roaccutane specifically, which is the oral treatment I took once per day um, for about a year, that I can speak on. And what I will say with certainty is that I am giving it a mixed review. Um, there are pros and cons, definitely more pros than cons because I think overall, as you can see, my face is relatively clear. I do still have a few spots here and there, and that's where the cons come in. I think one of the main cons is that it's not guaranteed to be a one-off. Uh, when you take it, maybe you take it for a certain period of time and your face clears up and your dermatologist decides that your treatment can end, um, but you could have a relapse. So it's not always a one-off and uh, I'm going to be having a second round of treatment. So the first time I was on it for a year, uh, this second time I think it'll just be two months just to target some areas that uh, still are vulnerable or prone to acne. And the other thing to note, as with most uh, oral um, treatments or things like that, there are side effects. The side effects vary per person. For me personally, I think when I first got on it, that um, initial like first couple of weeks, I had a bit of like a stomach cramp and I had some joint pain, but that went away relatively quickly. And of course I discussed all of my uh, symptoms with my dermatologist, but again, you should only take these treatments or any treatment for that matter if you have a physician, dermatologist, someone kind of observing you and uh, watching over how you react. And when you are on Roaccutane, you need to take uh, regular blood tests to check to make sure that you're healthy and that your body is reacting well to the treatment. So there are some things that go along with it. But as I said, despite the pros um, of it really clearing up your face, it's also good to be cognizant of the cons of potentially having a relapse, potentially having side effects, and just making an informed decision about what it is that your goals are for your skin and what you're willing to kind of um, compromise on in order to get there. So I'm definitely going to do a second round of Roaccutane treatment. My first round lasted about a year. Um, it started in the spring of 2018 and ended in the spring of 2019. And from then to now, I'd say beginning of 2020, I was doing really well. Like my skin was very clear. As you can see, most parts are still pretty clear. Uh, I think with Roaccutane, it really targets certain areas, really helps to close the sebum glands and uh, to control the excess oil production so that you don't get this acne in the way that you normally would or that you can cut out your acne completely. I think what may have happened is that it targeted certain specific areas where I was very acne prone and other areas like under uh, my chin where I typically almost never get acne. Now that's the area that's being um, kind of flaring up either due to stress or hormonal acne or my skin just having a relapse um, now that I've been off of the medication for about eight months. So what I've been doing to kind of help with the um, topical aspect of it is using this uh, spot treatment cream. Uh, it's called Duac and um, it's good for reducing the size of the bumps and uh, kind of fading the, the hyperpigmented parts because I have a darker pigmented skin so I'm more prone to scarring than other people. Um, but I believe that once I get back on the next round of the Roaccutane for about two months, according to what my dermatologist told me, that it should target those few remaining areas, these spots here, and this whole area under my chin, um, that going forward I shouldn't be getting acne there anymore. And um, 
my skin can continue to be clear and healthy going forward. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that everything goes smoothly. In summary, I think the most important thing is figuring out what works for you because what works for me might not work for you. I mean, I'm not even sure if what's working for me is actually working for me, um, considering, you know, the, the recent um, breakout that I've had, but I have to say, just based on my own personal experience and my own journey, I've had acne since I was 13 years old, and now I'm 30 years old, and it has been 17 years of just, yeah, various breakouts of various degrees and scarring and clearing up and starting the cycle all over again and I just got exhausted at one point and I said you know what I need to try something a bit stronger uh, a bit more targeted and I need to talk to a professional who will really help me get the results that I'm looking for and I have to admit overall my results have been pretty positive I would say I would give Rakutane a 7 out of 10 because I've really come a long way like if I show you some of my earlier um, Photos with some of the really intense breakouts that I've had my face is really clear in comparison to that and For that reason, I'm going to continue the treatment. I'll do another round um, under the observation of my dermatologist and I'll just see how it goes and um, I hope that'll be the final round. I hope that these final few um, problem areas that need to be targeted will be addressed and within two months I'll be back to fully clear skin. Uh, in the meantime I just uh, will continue using the spot treatment as well just to help minimize the visibility of some of the bumps and the scarring and hopefully going forward I have the clear skin that I've been dreaming of for many years but I feel like I'm already well on my way to that and I'm happy with the results that I have so far. And I know, like everything else in life, there are pros and cons, so I, uh, yeah, feel confident in continuing along with the treatment and just seeing how well that works out for me. And I believe that it will work out pretty well 